Do you foresee port wine being mainstream in the United States? And if you say no, then I'm just going to have to scrap this whole project. <laughs> I think that port has come a real long way, and I'm very bullish on port. When I see people who are experimenting with port, it's younger people. We're getting back to the Tawny Tonic, so this will be for my um, my mother-in-law, Marsha, who was just recently at the Duro Valley, and I wanted to fact check her on this. She had mentioned, because I know white port and tonic pretty well, but she had mentioned over there, it's all Tawny Tonics. That's kind of the only, that's the main thing. So can you confirm or deny for me, which one's more popular? <laughs> deny, deny. Personally, I love Tawny Tonics, but they're very rare here. This is something that happened probably 20 weekends a year where I would have friends from other parts of the country that would fly in, stay at the house, or come from Port Portugal even, and uh, I would, as a former chef and restaurant guy, I would host these elaborate dinners. I had living room chairs at my dining room table so people could sit for six to eight hours and feel very comfortable with all the wine having their way. And uh, basically sitting around having wine dinners that would you know, they get there at six, seven o'clock at night and be leaving one, two in the morning. It's relaxing with good friends, good food, and it's the most convivial drink there is. It's so simple, right? It's about yeah. getting off your phones, your devices, and just being with people. <laughs>